But as the foundation continued to have large amounts of funds missing, he realized that something was wrong. So under the investigation of a private detective, the truth surfaced. Not only did his wife cheat, but she also took millions of dollars to help this gigolo start a business. Child, Mr. Willis, you are not the That's what I figured. No! Oh, that's good. No, Willis. That, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Second child. That's, that's got to be a, it's a mistake. Mr. Willis. You are not the father. You are reading someone else's file. This so can't be true. I have a the, the woman said, you are reading someone else's file. This can't be true. <laughs> hey, oh man, let's listen. Mailman and a, and a plumber. Just oh. all three, Mr. Willis. I, 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 I pray and I hope. Please. But you are not the father. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey, now look at her doing all that crying and all that, bro. The woman, but the woman knows she been cheating. She knows she been cheating for to have three children and none of them belong to your husband. You know you been cheating. Now he got to take some blame for this. Cause if you turn a woman like this into a wife, you already knew she was that kind of woman. Never believe that a three or four gonna change for you. Never believe that she gonna become something she's not. Boy, let me tell y'all something. They always tell my people change. People don't change. People either expose who they truly are, which is not them changing. That's just the truth coming to light. Or they become more of who they are. You can go anywhere to get the lies. But I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the Alphasphere. Welcome to the Alphasphere. The only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity and totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. B.O.A. In 1994, the moment Duncan and his ex-wife Amy became lovers, Duncan supported Amy's career. He not only helped his ex-wife return to her job as a doctor, but also established a medical foundation and handed it over to Amy to manage. However, in 2012, Duncan suddenly found that something was wrong with his wife. Every time he came home, his wife was avoiding him. At first, he just thought his wife was tired, but as the foundation continued to have large amounts of funds missing, he realized that something was wrong. So under the investigation of a private detective, the truth surfaced. Not only did his wife cheat, but she also took millions of dollars to help this gigolo start a business. However, after being found cheating, Amy first slandered Duncan as bisexual. Fortunately, Duncan collected evidence in advance, not only won the lawsuit, but also won the custody of the two children. After seven years of dating and 12 years of marriage, Duncan would not choose to forgive her. But even after the divorce, he still gave Amy $7 million. However, Amy eventually went bankrupt due to the failure of her business, and the gigolo left her, leaving Amy with nothing. Looking back at Duncan, will he learn from this lesson after the divorce? Now, I want y'all to understand something, man. Tim Duncan is a nice guy. He's the guy that they all say they want. He met the woman, put her back in position to be a doctor again, and pretty much picked her out of the gutter, put her back in position to be a doctor again, started a foundation, let her run it, trusted her. What'd she do? Took him down through there. Took him down through there. Now, somebody can say, well, that's what he get for. Okay, but Tiana, uh, Tiana Taylor took Yvonne Shumper down through there, right? Greg Mathis, old lady fan, take him down through there. Tyrese got a woman taking him down through there right now. So let's not act like it's a black or white thing, man. It's an American thing. If you're a man and you care about yourself, you better be very careful about the woman that you allow into your life, man. Because nine times out of ten, these women are in dire financial need. They're in dire emotional need. They're in dire need of spiritual guidance. They're in dire need of mental stability. They need a calming force and a sense of direction in their lives. But they only want one of two things. They want something that makes their body feel good or something that takes their financial load away. That's all. They don't want them about their feelings. They done with feelings. You know what I'm saying? They're done with feelings. They're, they're done with that. They want somebody to make their life easier and somebody who make their hot pocket greasier. That's all they want. Make their life easy, make their hot pocket greasy. That's all they want. Something you'll get a lot of hate for if you say it out loud. That men, their whole life was taught how to treat a woman and not what to expect from a woman. But women were taught their whole life what to expect from a man, but not how to treat a man. 
Hey, if you really mess with me, you gonna get the car in the rain. You ain't gonna let me get wet, baby. I know you ain't. Go get that car, baby. Go get. The man that God has for me is going to find so much joy in having me as his partner. I'm so excited for him. That's crazy. Let me tell y'all something. What that guy said, man, is such a phenomenal thing. It rings with so much truth that it, it makes the outlook on modern relationships in this particular society crazy. And so with that being said, why would you be trying to legally marry a woman in this society if that's how she feels? And the thing is, you may go to another culture and a woman may feel that way. But isn't it better for a woman to feel that way, man? Like, especially when it comes to, she wants you to make a hot pocket greasy, man. Isn't that better, man, if nobody ever made it greasy before? I think as, as Americanized men, and I say I'm not American men, but Americanized men, not all of us are Americanized. Americanized men believe that they should just date whoever. Any woman is worthy. You know, like, yep, yeah, hell, you, y'all be, be sleeping with married women. You mean tell me a woman with a husband at home, you gonna let her come to you and get the things she can't get from her man? And dude be bragging about it too. Yeah, man, you know, she, man, she's come around me, man. Oh, 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 boy, ain't hitting it right, man. Oh, boy, ain't hitting it right. Do you, you know what kind of fool you sound like? Yeah, he going, he, you know, he, 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 he hitting that hot pocket, man. He eating that hot pocket whenever he want to, man. He heat that thing whenever he want to. And then I just come around and whatever, whatever part of the hot pocket he leave on the plate, I just eat the rest of it. Come on, man. Come on, bruh. You kissing that woman, you might well be eating hot dogs. You might, you might well give a Kobayashi and, and, and compete against him in the hot dog eating competition. We're not talking about the woman having a moral fiber. We're talking about you as a man having a moral fiber. We're talking about you as a man standing up for yourself. We're talking about you as a man allowing yourself to stand up and be who you need to be. We're talking about you as a man. If Tim Duncan don't learn from his experience, then somebody else should. You don't see enough successful legal marriages for you to be around here thinking about legally marrying a woman. You don't see enough successful committed relationship for you to be around here thinking about getting a committed relationship with a woman. If you live in this society, even a, a woman could be all you need. I'll, I'll give you that. A woman could very well be all you need. A woman could be all you need, but she has to want to be all you need. And you know what that takes? It takes her being able to dedicate herself to you 100%. Otherwise, it's just a business arrangement. You know what I'm saying? She keep your belly full and your sack empty and you pay some bills. That's pretty much how all these situations go in the United States. Now, I'm not saying don't be in that situation. I'm saying just make sure you're in, that you know you're in that situation. Just make sure you know you're in that situation. And if that's what you're in, then cool, be in that situation. But know what it is. Know what it is, man. And I want y'all to understand, man, ain't nothing wrong with it. Just know what the situation is, bro. And then decide if that situation you want to be in or not. If you want to be in a situation, man, where you know, hey, man, listen, this is what it is. She's going to keep my stomach full. She's going to keep my sack empty. And I'm going to kick her some dollars from time to time. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going I'm, I'm to I'm I'm help her with her lifestyle. If that's what you're going to do. But know that's what it is. Nine times out of ten in a relationship in the United States, that's what it's going to be. Whether you marry her or not. The one thing that women, especially younger women, the one thing that younger women believe in is sleeping with whoever they want to sleep with. You know what I'm saying? A, listen, bro, a woman will marry a man while still sleeping with her ex. She'll marry a man while still sleeping with her ex. She'll marry a man and then get pregnant by her ex and then tell the man that it's his baby. Had that man taking care of another man's baby the whole time. You understand? She will let the ex have whatever he want for free and then have this other man paying for everything he gets. But it's not her fault. She's just being who she is. The problem is the man who married her thought she was something different. Why? Because he ain't take enough time. And you can't just wait. It ain't just time. Oh, let me watch the clock. It's been one year. It's been two years. Oh, three years. Oh, we almost there. Four years. Oh, yeah, one more year. Five years. Dun, 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 dun. No, man, you got to be putting the pressure on the bra for them years. You got to be making a jump through flame who with gasoline draws on. And if you got a woman that don't want to do that, man, forget her. Like the woman who was talking earlier. She talking all that about she tired and she this and she ain't got to be in a relationship. But she's basically saying we ain't got to be in a relationship, but we can still smash. 
Like when a woman says she ain't even looking for commitment, she don't want somebody to smash, man. She just wants somebody to smash and help her. She wants somebody to smash and give her cash. You know what I'm saying? The only thing on her mind, man, is, smash, is smashing out and cashing out. And that's cool. But that's why I tell y'all plot pimp principles. Why y'all out here acting like simps? Y'all acting like simps, man. They're applying the hoism to everything. And y'all out here applying the simpism to everything. Come on, man. Why? Well, the, the, these, these women in this country have decided what they want to be. They've decided what they want to do. But they have the freedom to do that. Like they can do whatever they want to do. You have to look at a woman and say, okay, this is what you are. Okay, well, I'm going to deal with you like this is what you are. You see what I mean? Worth it.